Today we will be going over how to set the notification settings for ParentSquare. This can be done either through the ParentSquare app or the ParentSquare website. The settings are the same in both places, so if you just want to adjust the other, so you only need to do this once, you don't need to do it on both places. First, we're going to go over how to set it on the ParentSquare app on your phone. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up the ParentSquare app, and then you'll select the three line menu in the top left hand corner and then select notifications. This is where you'll adjust all of your notification settings. The top setting custom settings allows you to set individual preferences per school that you're a part of. So if you have a kid at the elementary school and middle school you can adjust those individually. By default they are adjusted together. Below that you have the urgent alerts and notices. Those will be used for emergency communications from the school. Things like fire or active shooter uh, situations. Those cannot be turned off and will be delivered by email and text message. Below that is school alerts. Those are things that are higher priority than the general posts, but not emergency situations. We are recommending everybody leave that turned on. Below that, you have the notification settings for each of your notification types, email, text, and app notifications. You can turn those on or off for each of those, and you can adjust between instant and digest for each as well. Instant will deliver each post to you as it is made. Digest will give you a summary of all of them at five o'clock. You can also turn those off for text or app notifications uh, and pick just one that you would like. Um, you can adjust between instant and digest on each of those as well. The preferences are really up to you how you want to customize those. You can also adjust your notification settings from the ParentSquare website by going to ParentSquare.com and then logging into your account. From there, you can click on your name up in the top right corner and then select My Account. Once you're in your account settings, you can click on the notification settings over on the left hand side here. That will show you all of the notification settings for all of the schools that you are a part of, as well as the different communication types available for you. Uh, just like in the app, you also have the option to select between instant or digest or completely disable the communication type uh, by turning it off. Uh, that is set up per school in here by default, unlike the app that lets you adjust all of these settings at the same time. Um, so if you are using this, you'll have to set it for all of the schools that you are a part of. Um, again, the di digest will just deliver a summary of all of the posts made during the day at five o'clock or around five o'clock each day. Uh, Instant will deliver those as soon as the post is made. You do have the option to set that for each of the communication types, just like you do in the app. And if you have the app installed, you will have the app settings in the, uh, available to you here as well to adjust. Um, if you haven't installed the app, this one will be disabled and you won't be able to change these settings until you do install the app. Um, again, we are recommending that everybody leave the school alerts turned on as that will be used for communication that needs to be delivered immediately. Um, so things like uh, athletics practice being canceled, um, early dismissals, things like that. Um, and just like in the app, the urgent alerts are on and cannot be turned off. Those will be used for emergency communications, um, things like tornadoes, uh, fires, uh, things that cannot wait. And those will be delivered by text and email um, all the time. You'll also get notification in the app if you have that installed as well. 